Hey there everyone, happy Cinco de Mayo from Epcot here for another magical adventure. We're gonna see so much that I'm looking forward to. We're gonna walk around, We've got a later night tonight. It's gonna be so much fun, let's do it. Starting off first, a little update to Mouse Gear or what, we're, what it's now going to be known, I forgot the name of it, putting the name right there. But here it is, construction of that brand new shop. We have an idea what it's gonna look like on the inside, but I personally cannot wait for it to be completed before you know it. There have been some thoughts about the theming of this new shop. It's themed after Mickey Mouse, not as much of the mouse gear that we're used to. And I have to be honest with you, I know I'm gonna miss the name, mouse gear. Just, you know, we, we grew up with that. That's, that's extra special. But I think we're gonna learn to love this one as well. I really do. Disney, I don't, they don't let us down on these things. We learn to love all these things. It just turns into something Super magical. Walking around World Showcase now, you can see as the hours tick away, we have a little less than an hour before the park closes tonight. There's not as many people in this area. I feel like this area is one that kind of, you know, you see a lot of people all at once because there's some great uh, different uh, kiosks all around, including Trowel and Trellis on our left. But as the night kind of winds down, definitely gets a lot lighter. One thing I just noticed is that very bright light right there across the water here at World Showcase Lagoon. You can actually see it's uh, it's definitely a part of Harmonious in some way, because that uh, barge over there is lit as well. There's a light way out there towards Italy. Not 100% sure what it's gonna be used for. Part of the show, they're doing tests all the time. To close out Cinco de Mayo, you can see there are a lot of guests who are interested in the margarita stand. You, as you would imagine, very, very popular for this very special day. And I gotta tell you, I'm tempted. I am, I think it's a little late for me but a lot of people, longer line today. On Cinco de Mayo, let's head on in to the Mexico Pavilion here and see what they're doing inside. If there's anything extra special, maybe we'll get something too to celebrate. The smell inside this pavilion is extremely unique. If you know it, then you know what I'm talking about. If not, definitely something to look for next time you're here at Mexico. This is the line to get to La Cava de Tequila. Oh my gosh, Cinco de Mayo clearly in full force here. I think they even have a special menu. We gotta find out together, oh my gosh. You know, I had never seen this hot sauce here before. I don't think it's new, I just think I may have missed it. We've got this one here, but then there's another one right down there. So you've got the jalapeno and the habanero, I think. Yes, the other one's habanero, this one's jalapeno. Really looks cool, we should try it. We should do like a taste test one day. And that little uh, thing right on the top, that looks pretty cool. Vanilla flavoring as part of the uh, Mexico pavilion here. You can actually add this to maybe a cake recipe. Something like that, I would imagine it's similar to the vanilla flavoring we have from you know, different companies like McCormick and others, but it's great to see you can get some very special um, uh, flavoring from inside the Mexico Pavilion. Take a look at these mugs here. To me, this is new. Look at this. This one is $39.99, and it's actually got the Mexican flag on it. See, it's red and white and green. And it's got, I do not know, this, maybe it's Mayan, Mayan or Aztec, all the way around. Or just maybe a cool design with Disney. Tough to know exactly. You can see the back actually says Mexico right there. Love that. In addition, you've also got Saludos right here, Mexico, with your uh, glass here. This one costs $16.99. Here's some new more items that either maybe they're brand new, maybe they're just cycling them around. I'm not sure, but I love how it's kind of like the almost stained glass look of this one. $9.95 for the smaller toothpick holder. That's what Disney calls them. And $14.99 for this one. And it is textured. And so it's, it is definitely a glass that's been kind of laid in with glass fragments. To me, this is really cool because these are unique. You cannot get another glass like this one. They're all going to be unique. I don't think we smelled this one before either. That sugar skull mug here. Look at that. Right there with Mexico Epcot World Showcase. That is cool. That is super cool. $22.99. We've seen a lot of great cocoa merchandise inside of the Mexico Pavilion, but I don't think I've seen this shirt before. Seize your moment. That is great. Solid blue on the back. Super nice one. This one costs $24.99. A great one. In addition, another new shirt here. It looks like the cocoa guitar. Actually, yes, it is. Look at the top. You can easily see it's the Coco guitar, no question. But it's a lot more subtle. And I think there are a lot of guests who are really gonna like that. Now this is a really cool tumbler mug here. Look at this one, this is great. You can actually see those sugar skulls all the way around, a lot more subtle than other mugs we've seen before. A Trevis, I love that, $29.99. Super nice, and then inside, pop it open, and just like that, and there it is, wow. In celebration of Cinco de Mayo, take a look at that Kid Cop Fun Stop bat or a briefcase here. I love that, you got the sticker in there, the facts about Mexico, 
so, so great. I'm gonna hang on to these. You know, with all the changes coming, somehow I feel like this Three Caballeros tumbler mug may be a thing of the past before you know it. $21.99. Oh, I love it. It's so, so great. Great memories, too. Now, I thought we had seen these ears before, but the more I look at them, I, I don't know if we have. Look at these multicolored, the uh, bow right there. That's great. $29.99. Kind of a really cool kind of felt going all the way around. It's not even felt. It's, um, it's stitched in there. It's really nice how they've done this. And there are subtle Mickeys. There are throughout, and I love that. In addition, we've also got this really cool hat that matches the ears, $27.99. So think about it, you can match. Someone can have ears, someone can have a hat, just like that. That's great. It's, again, subtle Mickeys, and it's really embroidered into the hat. In addition, we've also got the tank top here. Look at this one. That is great. You can even see it's a unique design right here, going all the way up, embroidered all the way down with Mickeys. They're out $34.99 for the tank top, and in addition, they've got a shirt as well. One of the wide neck ones, again, sewn in. Subtle Mickeys and great feel of Mexico, $36.99. Gotta love all the cool things to find inside the Mexico Pavilion. Let's see what else is in store tonight. Outside by Pineapple Promenade now, we're gonna try that frozen dessert violet lemonade. You know I love it, I don't think I've had it. Maybe I did this year, I can't remember. I've had it before, no question, but this year, not so sure. In addition, that uh, Dole Whip with Fanta, I gotta find out if it's like super special or just like a little bit of Fanta. Either way, we're gonna find out, we're gonna try something. There it is, the beautiful, the magnificent, the delicious pineapple Dole Whip. I love it, you know I do. Thank you very much, thanks Rachel. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. And then mask off while drinking and eating. Oh, here we go. The festival is known for the Violet Lemonade. Oh my gosh, she hits the spot. It's perfect. Now here's the big question. Do you drink it without a straw or with a straw? Let's, let's do the test. My verdict is with a straw. I don't know, you can uh, you can taste more of the slush. And the juices, you know, the juices on top melts a little bit in the Florida heat, but it's nice to just be able to get direct slush. Now let's talk about masks in Florida, more specifically at Walt Disney World. They are required in certain situations. It's changing all the time. Make sure you pay attention to all the rules. Very important, but very important. No, it's getting hotter in Florida. It is much hotter and more humid all the time. So the key is to make sure you take breaks, lots of breaks. And don't forget when at the time of filming, when you're stationary, sitting down, or standing up, I guess, but stationary off to the side, distanced, you can take it off for eating, drinking, and of taking photos together. And so make sure you take advantage of those moments so that you can, you know, take that break, take that relaxing period, you know, wherever possible, whenever possible, just take care of yourself. Really, really important. You know, you can really feel the difference. I feel like we have unseasonable heat right now. It's, it's super, super hot. It feels like June or August heat. <laughs> very intense but it's only may it's hard to imagine so you can you can probably envision it's going to be a lot hotter of a summer so you wear a mask when required and follow all those rules remember that you know where they are i'm going to link to it in the description of this video so you can keep up with the most recent rules at disney but take those breaks they're available for you relaxation zones when eating and drinking when taking photos take those breaks because it really does help you feel the difference after a magical violet lemonade we're taking a look at some of the new merchandise they have here inside of epcot you can see dumbo you can see bambi oh my gosh there's miko here and marie and look at this they're they're kind of how do i describe this they're they're like knit they're, they're knit they're small they're cute that's with a long tail. Oh my gosh, that's super cute. All right, let's see how much these cost. $26.99 for these, and there's Winnie the Pooh. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look at Pooh. He does not have a long tail, but he is small and he is cute. Oh my gosh, there's even Dumbo down there. That's adorable. So it's a new style that they have here at Epcot. Check out those ornaments there. That's great. I love to see these here. That is fantastic with all the Disney characters. And they have kind of different attire on. Look at Donald right there. That red jacket. Mickey's got the blue pants. Unique. I like it. These are ornaments. Take a look. Tonight you can see more of those lights around Spaceship Earth have been added. You can see them go all the way up there. There's uh, connection pieces between Spaceship Earth. Really cool to see. They're still missing several throughout. There are a lot of them all around this geodesic sphere. So cool to see. Can't wait to see them lit. Thanks so much for being a part of the magic with me today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.